this is Kelton at Roadware Incorporated, and today we're going to share with you a video we prepared for the ICRI Virtual Fall Convention. This video shows Roadware 10 minute concrete mender and our easy injection system repairing almost hairline cracks in a floor without pumps or ports. I hope you like it. Hello, this is Kelton Glevy with Roadware Incorporated. Today we're going to talk about the Roadware Easy Injection System and 10 minute concrete mender for the International Concrete Repair Institute Virtual Fall Convention product demonstration. This demonstration will feature less invasive crack repair for concrete floors and structures. Repairing cracks in concrete using structural polyurethane injection without pumps, ports, or cutting. Our demonstration will have four objectives. One, preparing cracks for repair while reducing silica dust creation and exposure. Two, preventing additional micro fractures caused by cutting and aggressive preparation. Three, injecting structural polyurethane without pumps or ports. And four, bringing crack slabs back to a pre-crack condition. This demonstration will feature Roadware 10 minute concrete mender. This is a structural polyurethane. 4500 PSI compressive strength, 4475 PSI tensile strength, very thin at less than 8 centipoise, and a surface tension one third of water. This product can be used from 100 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 30 Fahrenheit. So here's the plan. We're going to drill 3 8 inch diameter holes along the crack, 3 quarters to 1 inch deep as needed. We'll use Roadware Concrete Mender Easy Injection Tips to inject concrete mender deep into the slab without pumps or ports. So here we go. To start out, we're going to take a 3 8 inch concrete bit. We're going to drill a hole into the concrete along the crack. I want to go about an inch deep. And we're going to space our holes equivalent to be about as thick as the concrete is. So if you have a 4 inch slab, we want to go a hole every 4 inches. If it's a 6 inch slab, we we'll go a hole every 6 inches. And so forth. This method of prep for a crack, even a hairline crack, uh, generates very little dust, but it's still always good to uh, you know, have a dust collection system. When you're done with drilling your holes, uh, take your, your, your dust collection system and remove any remaining dust from the holes. Uh, get the surface good and clean. Next step, we want to inspect the crack and make sure that it's free of dust and dirt and oil, things like that. You want to make the uh, surface uh, clean as well because the preceding step, I'm sorry, the next step is going to be placing a high performance tape on top of the crack. Here we're using a Gorilla Repair Tape. It has a uh, good thickness and it is fairly good adhesive. Do not use a clear packing tape or anything like that. Uh, this Gorilla brand repair tape works well. Also, uh, a clear duct tape is available, and that works uh, just as good. You can get these tapes at uh, any home improvement store, or you can order them online. Make sure you cover all the holes and all of the crack. The tape is going to serve the purpose of containing the concrete mender as we make the repairs. This uh, really reduces any, any uh, overbanding and uh, makes uh, for a better repair. Now we could do the tape a little bit wider on each side if, uh, if we wanted to to make sure we catch any overbanding at all. But for this purpose, uh, one layer of tape here should be just fine. Next step is take a utility knife and cut a slit in every hole. This is to make room for our easy injection mixer that we're going to be applying concrete mender into these holes at the next step. Here's a cartridge of Roadware 10 minute concrete mender. 
we assemble these just the, the normal way we've been doing them, uh, except we're going to add a little piece of plumber's uh, Teflon plumbing tape. This uh, acts as a seal between the two sides of the product and uh, reduces dripping because we're going to put a little pressure under this mixer using this easy injection mixers. So I want to prevent uh, any leaks and this uh, just helps a little bit, just a little tip. And uh, it's a little extra thing we like to do when we're doing the injection system. Now we have our concrete mender with our special easy injection mixer and we're going to apply it. You just uh, get your cartridge primed and you uh, put the uh, mixer right into the little 3 8 holes you drilled and start pumping product. You can see it actually follow along the little hairline crack as you go. The concrete mender will go down uh, to the bottom of the crack but also spread side to side and you can actually watch it uh, migrate from hole to hole as you do this process. This works best for cracks that are fairly open and fairly clean. Uh, it's not for every uh, conceivable situation, but it does work well for many, many uh, types of applications, especially in a floor like this or any kind of structure. Here you can actually see it, uh, the concrete mender spreading from uh, along the crack and filling up all the little micro fissures and cracks. The surface tension is one third of water, so you'll notice how the concrete mender can actually run into the little uh, fissures all on its own under very little pressure. And actually you can see it come uh, down into a crack and come up on the other holes, which means you know you're getting you know, full depth penetration. Now we've actually done repairs like this uh, in concrete as deep as 24 inches. And then we have taken core samples uh, out to actually determine when we were getting a complete and full repair from the bottom all the way up using this method. So continue filling all the holes as, uh, as needed. And you might have to go back a few times as the concrete mender will continue to uh, soak into those cracks. I like to do is uh, make these repairs is actually overfill them just a tiny bit because we're going to come back and, uh, uh, and scrape and uh, grind them smooth with the surface of the concrete. You can also, if you have any excess on top of the tape or hitting your concrete, you can just wipe that up with a paper towel before it cures. Just make sure you get the crack and all the holes you know, completely filled. After about 10 minutes, you can start uh, removing the, uh, the top layer here and uh, with a razor scraper and bringing it flush to the concrete. I do this one in about an hour after application. Now you may notice that uh, over the holes you might have a couple voids or some little air pockets. This will happen as the concrete mender cures and, and uh, there could be some outgassing from under the slab, especially in warmer climates. So we're going to come back and address that next. But I can also tell that the crack has been completely filled and even up the little micro fissures. So we take some roadware 10 minute concrete mender and some silica sand. I'm using 40, 30 grit here. We make a mortar and we just quickly uh, trawl across these little holes and fill everything in nice and neat. Roadware 10 minute concrete mender is designed to also be bulk mixable. so. This kind of an application with the same product works just as well for many situations. It does not get uh, gummy very quickly and it gives you plenty of working time to do uh, little repairs like this as well. The uh, set time is, is set at about 
Well, it'll gel in about six minutes, and then cure in the last you know three or four minutes. So uh, you have plenty of working time in small batches like this when you mix it with sand. So you get these all these little holes filled up and wait about 10 minutes and you can uh, buff off the surface. Here we're just using a finishing stone and a sanding brick, but you can easily use uh, some uh, power equipment. But for this situation, a finishing brick is just fine. That's all you have it. Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, the 10-minute concrete bender is full of cure, and you can open this up to traffic right now, or you could paint it, coat it, finish it, prime it, uh, or actually shop blast it at this time, or grind it, polish it. it uh, it's all ready to go. After 24 hours, this is what your repair will look like. The concrete bender will blend in nicely with the surrounding concrete. Let's check our work. We can photograph the crack under UV light and we can see that the crack has been completely repaired in between the drilled holes and that concrete bender actually wicked itself into these small micro fractures and micro cracks. Here's the same application using the easy injection mixers on a concrete slab that is 24 inches thick. See how it penetrates all the way through to the bottom. This concludes our product demonstration for Roadwear 10-Minute Concrete Mender Easy Injection System. This 24-inch deep course shows what is possible with the Easy Injection System. Cracks and fissures as small as 0 .020 mil are structurally bonded together. Roadwear 10-Minute Concrete Mender has a modulus of elasticity that is less than the concrete and will not become brittle over time. This repair will effectively restore the concrete to the original design performance. Okay, that was our demonstration for the 2020 RCRI, I see, is it ICRI uh, Fall Convention, Virtual Fall Convention. And uh, now this is the live chat section of our uh, Zoom meeting, and we have nobody joining us, which is quite funny. So there. Anyways, we'll, end it, we'll edit that out. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> no problem. So we got a few questions here, Richard. Uh, what temperature range can we install concrete mender? Well, we've installed Mender in flash freezers at 50 below uh, and uh, to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the interesting thing is mixing in bulk, though, in freezers. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, with 10-minute concrete Mender, uh, because it is a uh, two-part polyurethane that cures in 10 minutes at 70 degrees, it takes almost an hour to cure at zero degrees, and so we have plenty of time to mix it in bulk. Whether uh, So actually, you can take almost a whole gallon of concrete mender A and a, a gallon of concrete mender B, mix it up in the bucket, so it gives you two gallons of liquid. You add four gallons of sand to that. You get a nice uh, concrete mortar that you can trawl out and make large repairs in a freezer without any trouble, especially like, in thresholds and things like that. So Fantastic. On the, the injection system, I know that parking decks have crack problems um, from flexure, dynamic yes. movement. Excellent question. Now, parking decks are a great market for the easy injection system because we actually can uh, get in there and make repairs full depth with concrete mender that have a modulus of elasticity that's less than the concrete. So as the deck flexes, the concrete repair with concrete mender will flex with it. Um, yeah. It won't. It won't handle a lot of movement, like a, like a control joint product would, or, or a sealant, right? So if it's a crack that's moving crack, but if it is a, a, sh a shrinkage crack or a, a crack that occurred uh, just after the deck was poured, say due to uh, wind or something during the curing process, um, concrete mender is a great repair for that, and it sells the easy injection system, which can make those repairs full depth. And when we put concrete mender in there, that seals out water and dirt and incompressibles, all things like that, and so it brings that slab back to its original performance standard. So plazas, walkways, any slab like that. But I'm curious, what if you have a concrete structure, a vertical wall, and you have a crack? Now, on a vertical wall, we can use pretty much the same system. We basically can take a piece of, we'll drill, take a piece of tape and run it along the, the length of the crack. Then we can drill holes into that little crack and use the same easy injection system mixers 
the push concrete mender in there and backfill that repair with time on the concrete mender. So it works basically the same way. Or we can mix it with sand and trawl it up the, the wall as well. I know that the tilt-up business, um, as they pour the slabs on the ground and tilt them up, from time to time they'll get flexure and they'll crack and they use concrete mender. In those applications, when they paint the wall, they paint right over the mender. Now, um, in similar applications, could you coat it or paint it or? Sure, yeah, concrete mender um, is great, it takes all kinds of coating and painting, uh, coatings and paints. Uh, anything from architectural paints to cementitious coatings to epoxies and urethanes, uh, concrete mender accepts all that kind of stuff. Basically because we have so much sand into the material when you make the repair that it uh, grabs on the paint just as well. So you really don't have a problem with it. So even if you had a spall vertically on a wall, um, it was about that big and maybe a half inch deep, you could just mix it up into a mortar? Exactly. Mix that with some fine sand into a mortar, press that into the repair area, okay. uh, hold it up there with some means, uh, usually uh, something plastic or, or a blue dab or styrofoam, and you can hold that in there and make a repair. Uh, you just have to hold it for about six minutes until it gels up a little bit, then you can right. let it go and it'll make the repair. Just and then so. use the sander and yep. just sand it down. And um, how is it? How is it packaged? Um, uh, Roadware 10 minute concrete mender comes in 600 milliliter cartridges. It also comes in uh, quart kits, two gallon kits, and 10 gallon kits. And so, depending on the size of your job, what you need to do, um, you, there's a there's something that'll fit just about every type of project. Probably our most popular bulk product is the two gallon kits, and of course, the uh, 600 milliliter twin cartridge is very popular as well. So we have them down as small as 50 milliliters for small hairline cracks. Or you want a very nice controllable repair, every cartridge comes with a needle tip mixer. You'll find all that on our website. Great. Yep. Oh, and uh, Rover 10 minute concrete mender is made in the United States, right here in South St. Paul, Minnesota, but it's available at distributors throughout the country. Uh, we sell it uh, actually throughout the world now. So there's always uh, someone close by with a stock of concrete mender whenever you need it.